Yeah, narrow escape thinking. number two was when you decided you could do it for other people, and then what happened with that? Well, the I went along and I uh, I, I planned it all out and I went and pitched it, mm -hmm. and uh, you know I was looking at thinking right, well this is a no brainer. He'll go for this because I was turning. I, I looked at their business and they were turning over seven hundred fifty thousand. It was a similar business to the one you've been in before, so you had. Yeah, the it was one of the. It was one of the businesses I'd sold off. Right. Okay. Right. And uh, it's and I looked at it and thought, right, he's turning over seven fifty. I can take him to one point eight million, no problem mm -hmm. at all. They double and his business, essentially. Over double his yeah. business, uh, and I wanted a share of the upside, an upfront fee, and I was offering one hundred and fifty percent guarantee. You know, so at the end right. of the year, if he didn't like it, I'll give you one hundred and fifty percent of the money back. And uh, it was a no brain. It was absolute. And what ended up happening, the error I made was it scared him to death <laughs> because it was a case of. Uh, you know, didn't couldn't conceive that mm. the business could grow to 1.8 mm. million. Whereas to me, it was like, well, it's just maths. You mm. know, we'll, we'll do this, 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 and we'll remove those costs. Anyway, it was it wasn't meant to be. And uh, I came away from it thinking, what, 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 why didn't he go for this? This was this was a no-brainer. Transferred his business. He'd have made about 200,000 pounds a year, uh, new money, mm. profit. I don't I don't get it. Uh, anyway, on the way back, and I had this wonderful revelation. Uh, you know, like a uh, what's it called? Uh, what, uh, an epiphany. Epiphany, moment, yes. Yeah. And it was like, oh, thank goodness for that. It didn't go ahead uh, because the second I realised that it wasn't something I loved. Yeah. You know, I'd nearly slipped back into business just because I could do it. Yeah. Doesn't mean I should do it. Yeah. And uh, so I came back and you know walked through the door happy. You know, Alison said to me, uh, "Oh, he bought it then." <laughs> no, no, he didn't. <laughs> thank goodness he didn't buy it. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Thank goodness he didn't buy it. Because if he had, then I'd have gone straight back into another business, and it wasn't what I loved to do. So I decided to take three months off and figure out what I loved to do. That must 